Hello everyone and welcome again to another VIX Systems tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about Auth0. We have experienced this once in a while when you log into your Google account and automatic, uh, automatically you have access to different services like your Gmail, your Google Maps, your Google Drive, your Google Sheets and the rest of Google services. Okay, in this tutorial, we are just going to be simplifying this model and we'll be looking at creating um, two laravel applications we'll be building this with laravel we'll be running them on two different ports and they will be sharing the same authentication so when you log into one you automatically have access to the other uh, the service we are going to be using is odd zero so i'm just going to navigate to the site odd zero let's just put it there in google I'll click on the first link what we'll be doing is we'll be creating an account. It, the account is actually free, so I'm just going to hit sign up. I'll be creating the account to my my Google account. Okay. Okay. Here I'm just going to be selecting a personal uh, account type. I'll be hitting next. I'll be led into my profile so here I am actually giving a tenant domain this is the central point or central um, domain of the authentication uh, module so every other app will be relating with this so the next thing is just to select the region I'll be picking US I'll click on create accounts now Okay, here I have within my dashboard I can just simply go to create application okay and I'm going to give this a name I could call this school let's um, have the scenario where we have a school and we have um, um, let's just say a shop okay so if I'm logged into the school I should be able to have access or I should be authenticated on the shop application also so I'm going to be selecting the regular application, okay, uh, as you can see it has Node.js Express, ASP.NET, Java and PHP, so we're going to be clicking on create, alright, so um, here we have this page, what technology are you using for your project, you can scroll down, we'll find um, PHP Laravel, there is also for other uh, frameworks, ASP.NET, Django, Next.js, Python, Ruby on Rails, so we'll be uh, selecting um, Laravel for this demonstration so it's going to lead us to this um, page for setting up the school application okay um, this Laravel um, module was designed by uh, Evan Sims okay and we can view that on github we can view the source code on github but in this example what we'll be doing is just be downloading a sample of this code it's going to take a um, couple of minutes and we just have that downloaded okay but we need to take um, into consideration the following things because we need them the callback url the ports and also the basic steps of just launching the application okay so i'm just going to hit download now okay so i've just downloaded this um, the zip file which is just the laravel application okay i'm going to be pasting it here i'm going to extract that and open it up with um vs code but before then let's call this cool okay so this is the first app So we'll be going over some basic steps of setting up um, the application. Um, we'll just do a quick composer install. I will set up the database, then we'll do a migrate, generate the key, then launch it on a particular port. For this example, I'll be launching these applications on two different ports. 
the first pot is going to be pot 3300 and the other one is going to be pot 6600 i will not be working with this example so i'm going to launch my vs code okay but before now let's just uh, i have this extension and my sql extension on vs code this is going to allow me to create a database so i'm just going to do that quickly i'm just going to call this pot zero school db okay i'm gonna hit play this is going to create the database as that is happening i can do composer install when okay the database has been created so i can quickly go to my file explorer head on to the dot env file i will make sure this port is 3300 okay i'm going to head into my database and call this port zero school db yeah because that's what we just created here out zero school db okay all right so there are a couple of things we need to implement here i'm going to be adding an additional um variable or an additional item in my dot uh, env file and that's going to be the callback url let's check how far composer installation is going okay it's going okay all right so let's just take this step by step before we get to the other um, application Okay, so Composer is fully installed on the application. The next step we want to go through, as we can see, is the um, artisan migrate. Okay, and the next, the key generate, then we serve it on a particular uh, port. Okay, so let's um, quickly uh, do that. Now we have a database already registered within here so we can go ahead with uh, migrate okay so that's migrated successfully the next thing we want to do now is generate a key okay so that has been uh, successfully done uh, the key has been generated all right, so I said we need to add an additional um, value here, and that is going to be the auto redirect URL. So I'm just going to copy in this. All right. Then this application will be served on port 3300, as I earlier said. So we're just going to put that value there okay and um, this is laravel 9 so when it is served it's going to update the environment values okay so i'm just going to serve this now on the port 3300 okay so we're gonna have that up and running Okay, so that's running. Um, the next thing we're going to do right now is, okay, let's just serve our application and see what we are working with. Okay, we go to cloud post. All right, so we just have something really basic. We're going to repeat this now, but with another uh, application, but running on the same, um, on a different port. All right, so let's just close this out. I'm going to close this out, head on to our applications. We're creating a new application now. We're going to call it shop. Okay. Now it's going to be a regular application. Okay. We are also going with Laravel. so make sure to um, download the applications that's the Laravel application that was going to be generated make sure to download them separately because they will have different client um, IDs all right 
okay just wait a while good so we can download source code okay so that's the second one okay so that's downloaded I'm going to head on to the folder okay this is where we had our school app all right so let's paste this extract basically going through the step again let's just call this shop open it up in vs code okay open up our terminal begin and compose and install we're going to create a new database for this because it's an entirely different application so we're going to call this hot zero shop db we hit play we need to let's go back to our file explorer to our environmental environment variable um, we're going to edit our port because we'll be serving this on six hundred and uh, let's update the database it's going to be out zero what shop db okay and we need an additional so we see we have a different client id and client secret here okay so we need an additional um value in an in our file okay just going to paste that in here and we'll be changing this to six six to six hundred so that's done let's check how far composer install is going going great okay we'll be coming back to um this dashboard to update some of the values on um odd zero on the odd zero end okay so composer installation is done we can go ahead and migrate to the new database okay migration is done successfully we can generate a key okay that's done successfully then we can serve the application on a different port okay so we can take a look at that application now so that's us this is the school <coughs> Excuse me, that's a school application. This is the shop application. This is on 6600. Okay. Alright, so they are going to be sharing the same login. What that means is if I log in here, say with a particular email, Victor Soko as the name, if I come in here and refresh the page or I hit on login also, I shouldn't have to log in anymore. The system should already know uh, it is. Um, that particular user all right okay so before we do that we are going to head back into the hot zero dashboard we're going to take a look at our applications we need to update some values here okay so we'll take um, let's take a look at the school application a couple of things we need to do here um, <clears throat> for the application login one, what I realized is you can actually use since this is a test any URL will actually work just make sure it's a real it's, uh, it's not a local host um, URL um, 
and make sure it's a secure um, you use HTTPS instead of HTTP okay for the callback we can leave that like this okay so the first application the school application is being hosted on port 3300 okay then this is the callback URL let's just copy that all right and then for the logout we can just do this okay there's nothing else to update here and we hit on hit save okay so that's saved it's saying it's going to take like 30 seconds to come into play um we can head over to the other application which is the shop okay do the same thing or update the values okay for the login we can still use that and for the callback let's see do you have it cached okay All right. just copy in Okay, so this is the second application, so this is going to be 600, 6600. For the logout, we can do HTTP. Okay. Alright, so that's set. We hit save. Okay, we head on to our application. Let's refresh. so we're gonna hit login it's going to launch the auth zero um, interface let's click on sign up let's do this my mail and let's give a password okay all right so this is the sign up so I'm signing up here Okay, so I'm going to click accept because it's my Gmail account, so it was able to pick all of those. So this is welcome, Victor. These are my details. So I'm going to head on to the other application. I'm going to refresh. It's an entirely different application. I'm going to try to log in. I'm going to click login. Okay. So as you can see it's already pulled out my image okay um, remember I didn't register on this um, shop application so I'm just going to click accept and it's going to load up my details as we can see here so if I log out from one it also happens on the the other so this is like a one-time thing if you are logged in on the first app you log in on the second one for the first time it will actually take you through that um, accept um, stage but the second subsequently when you'll be doing that you will not need to do any of that so this is just a short explanation you can build up on this um, this is just a starter code and then you can go ahead develop your models and build up whatever applications you want but this is just a simple app, um, illustration on how to or demonstration rather on how we can uh, use Auth0 to share authentication between different applications, also called a single signing. Thank you very much for watching.